Yes, I'm back again. Um, so, you'll see the video in a second. I uh, put my spark on here. I got this figured out next time so I don't so I don't ram my windshield through there or my back window through there. It's really tight, but it goes up inside there nice. You'll see in a second. And I put my stop free here. So when this raises up and those two white lines line up with this, that's when I stop. And when I drive in till my front tire hits the stop, keeps me nine inches back. That's my wheel center for the spark. And I'm good. So I can just pull on, hit the bump stop, put it in park, and then raise it up to here. And when I do that, that'll give me like one inch clearance of the windshield and the same thing back there. All right, guys, check out this video. All right, we got my car on. I didn't go all the way up. I stayed back, I got room back here, but I kind of looked at the back of it. It's gonna be close. I might have to roll my car ahead a little bit. Let's see what's going to happen. Like I said, I can always put it on backwards. Yeah, I might have to move that light now that I'm looking at it. I just lost like six inches by that light. So, right now, it scared the shit out of me. Right now, I would have hit the garage door opener. Yeah, I might have to move that light, that's for sure. God, this scares the shit out of you when you're not waiting for it. Definitely gonna have to move that light. All right, let me see what it's looking like. Woo! Good time to stop. Man, I was right there. I was like two inches from hitting that. Okay, so that just tells me I have to roll the car ahead a little bit. I still got a lot of room under here. So that means, let's see. Yeah, that light is getting kind of close. I can still roll ahead a lot. So I'm not shit out of luck there. I should have left it in neutral. All right, so I, gotta, I see some adjustments I got to make. Um... I'm sure if I back it in, if I back it in, I'll probably be really good. Or maybe not. I don't know. All right. So that's where I'm at. I mean, it's trial and error. So I got to get this light the hell out of there. Maybe I'll take the light and bring it up inside the ceiling a little bit. And uh, I just have to roll forward a little bit there. Not bad. Well... While I'm here, I was looking under my car. Oh, look at that. First time under my car in the garage. Woohoo! Looks nice. I don't see no leaks. Nice, nicey, nice. A little bit of rusty here or there. CB boots are good. Yep. How's everything else look back here? Here's my train horns. If you've never seen the train horns under my car, there they are. That's how close these are. That one's almost right there. And this one just misses the swing arm. That's the swing arm for the suspension. So there's my train horn. Yeah, they're a little dirty. All right. Uh, I got to make a few adjustments, and I'm good. Oh, here's a, here's a how it works. Here's the cables. And they go down all these pulleys back there. And here's the big ram. That's a big ram there. So that's what it looks like under the lift. Now I didn't paint it under here, Gordon, because nobody sees it until now. So, all right, I'm gonna get out from under here. I got some adjustments to make. So there's my first test run. 
We got to roll the car ahead a little bit. And, uh, yep. Oh, so when I cut this truss, I ran another 2x10 to connect this one. So this center is connected to that one and that one. All right, I got a little tinkering to do. And that's it for now. All right, we got her up even higher. I'm up on the ladder looking. Boy, isn't that close. Woo-hoo! That's close. I, could, I wish I could cut this one other truss out. It'd be perfect. So I'm up on the ladder checking this out. And my windshield's got... Oh, a couple fingers for smashes. It just tucks itself right up inside. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark everything. I'm going to mark everything so I know exactly where this car sits. I put a block because I had to roll the car head a tiny bit. So I've got two inches up there to miss that. So now I'll just go through and I'll mark this lift out. So I'll put like a little line right here outlining my tire. And then I'll put a mark on my lift that don't go any higher than right there. And that's what I'm going to do now. But what is that? Oh. Huh. That stretchy thing fell off my muffler. Oh well. Well look at this. I can get underneath the car now. So that's cool. Boy, they pushed, brought it right up close to these little splasher things. All right, mission accomplished. My car is in the air, in my garage. Woo!